It's summer camping season and Dr. Travis Williams with the San Gabriel Valley Boy Scouts is here to talk about the great outdoors. Morning. Morning. So a lot of people don't like camping. Why do you think that is? I don't know. If you've never done it, yeah, maybe you should be a little worried about it. But part of the magic of scouting is that we surround families with the kind of resources that are needed to do it safely. For example, it was read into the record of the 104th Congress that a kid is safer in Boy Scout resident camp than he is in his own home. Interesting. So now I'm a little scared to have my boy at home. I should send him out camping, huh? Yeah, you can sit in with us. Okay. Well, um, why is family camping so important? Are and are there some good campgrounds where families can start locally here? Okay, why is family camping important? A, a big emphasis of scouting, particularly with our younger kids, uh, the elementary school age, the junior high age, is that we want to strengthen the parent-son uh, relationship. And we want to strain it with the context of the outdoor program and enable those families to interact in ways that they haven't before. Uh, where should you go? Uh, there are a lot of wonderful places here in Southern California, uh, beach camping, desert camping. Uh, I like mountain destinations because the weather's usually pretty good in the afternoon. Most Boy Scout councils can supply you with uh, a, a good guide uh, of uh, interesting places to go. What's your favorite? Uh, uh, personal favorites of mine, uh, there's a hiking loop up near Mount Hillier, uh, near the Chileo campground up in the hills, which is uh, one I like to warm families up with. Right. Now, uh, you were an Eagle Scout, huh? Yes, indeed. And uh, actually in San Gabriel Council, where you work. And, Very uh, good. Yeah. Uh, really enjoyed it. Got out of the house. Got to do a lot of things that I otherwise wouldn't have done. Yeah, that's the magic. They, they, they connect you with people that have unique resources and talents that might not be available in your home. Right. We were just talking a little bit earlier about the increasing rates of ADD, um, especially in boys, have a much higher rate. Do you think that camping is even more important now to get kids out of their homes and off the screens? Camping is important. More important than the outdoor experience itself is that scouting will surround the youth with their peers and force them to work collaboratively as a team and to provide peer leadership. Other than the United States Army, I know of no large organization that is teaching those skills in America these days, certainly not to youth our age. And um, I, I know there's the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Is there any chance of, why do they have to keep them separate? Are there any co-ed um, groups out there? There's a history of the two organizations being separate. I don't know the full history. I, I can tell you as a venturing advisor at Polytechnic School, I run an outfit of about 20 youth, which is co-ed. Uh, my crew president, Olivia Wu, uh, has been with us since she turned 14. Uh, my bosun, uh, Catherine Hathaway, is currently a sophomore at Stanford University. But, um, so that's awesome. I actually, you don't hear stories of that, of like mm -hmm. the co-ed groups. But is there also something really important about keeping them separate as well? Certainly there are safety concerns, uh, there are parental concerns, there are spiritual concerns with some of our religious sponsors. Uh, of course, every unit is different, and uh, we heed the needs of the sponsors and most especially the parents. Okay. And what are some other skills that, that boys um, really get out of camping and, and survival skills the that are important today? The mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to teach young people to make ethical choices throughout their lives by instilling in them the values of the Scout of the Law. Okay. And the outdoor program is a way that we force learning in circumstances where the kids are naturally a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Now I want you to tell a really quick story because you said it's, uh, it's safer to be in the Boy Scouts than not, but you were actually struck by lightning I was. when you were camping. Can you tell us about that really quickly? As a film on advisor, I was in, uh, we have a quarter million acre ranch in New Mexico and I had a crew of nine. Uh, we just made a food pickup. It was raining cats and dogs had about, I don't know, 50 feet visibility. We had to get over a small hill into Buck Creek Camp, and uh, uh, we got hit uh, from, from me to the camera. Oh my gosh. And uh, one kid, sure enough, from the earth to the, and he messed himself oh because boy. of the depolarization wave. But uh, he walked on, and just last month graduated uh, from the uh, biomedical engineering program at USC. So you're, so you're you're both all kind of superheroes. I, I'm gonna touch you all and right. see if I get electrical charge. The kids do all right. <laughs> All right, well, um, on our website, we have uh, pictures from the Rose Bowl Youth Expo mm -hmm. you had last month. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you so much for talking about camping and encouraging kids to get out there. You bet. 